They're, yep, so, cool stuff. Did you tell them about, I'm sorry, I was paying attention, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> did you tell them, um, though, that this mat can fit in this, um, oh, I didn't. Okay, okay, so this mat, another cool thing about it, thanks, Jen, <laughs> is that you can actually put this day. mat into your Cricut expression. So you can use it with Imagine and your Cricut expression. You just don't want to use your regular mats you've been using now for the Imagine machine. So once you get these, you can use them for both. Um, okay, do we have the... I'm just trying to find them. There we go, this is what I want to do. All right, can you guys see where I'm pointing down there on the screen? Yes. This is a child's ear cartridge, one of your original cartridges, okay? Up till today, any cartridge we've made, we're calling original. Okay? And we're going to continue to make original cartridges. This right here, and it doesn't have the cute, you know, sticker on it. This is an Imagine, a new Imagine cartridge, okay? Guess what? You can use all of your original cartridges in this machine, and it's going to do some really amazing things. <laughs> <She's all fine. laughs> and I'll tell you what it's going to do. For example, this guy right here, this image, this duck, is an image I chose from a child's ear. But you're saying, did I put this patterned paper through my Cricut and cut it? No. I chose this image from a child's ear, and then with the Imagine cartridge plugged in on the other side, I went into its patterns, selected this green pattern, and then it cut it like that. And so, if you wanted to, you could even add a border around that. So, so what Chris is the color of the borders. So what Christy's saying is we chose this border from a child's ear, but we flood filled it with the yellow color that we can use from the other cartridge. So now all of those, and how many of you have a big library of cartridges? I have a big library of cartridges. Those just became even more valuable because now you can do thousands more things with them, with more patterns, more colors. So, you know, if there's a cute butterfly on a cartridge, you can now flood it, fill it with pink polka dot pattern or something, whatever, sky's the limit, right? Okay, so the next thing that's really fun is that you're gonna be able to still cut in layers. It's gonna print and cut in the layers. So right here on this uh, scrapbook page I have, I've got this cute little tag right here. And I, I can choose whether I want to make that one piece or if I want it to layer. And just like the Cricut, it's going to automatically size those down for me. So I don't have to think about it and change it. So this is what it looks like when I printed it out. And then I'm still able to get that three-dimensional look that we all know and love and uh, make this page. So I can choose to do that with everything I, I printed out. If I wanted to print extra little flowers at the bottom of my 12 by 12 page, I could do that and pop those up. So I just love that you get to choose. And if I wanted to change the colors on any of these, I could change the patterns and the colors to match my photos. Another great thing too is all of the functionality that's on your expression is on here. Even though it's different, there isn't the keypad, right, with the, with the overlays, all that functionality, so autofill is on here, fit to page is on here, multi-cut is on here, and then who has a gypsy out there? Okay, a lot of gypsy functionality is in here as well. So if you're familiar with the screen of your gypsy, you're going to be really familiar with the screen of this. And it's compatible with your gypsy, so there's a lot of things your gypsy can do that the Imagine doesn't do that you're going to be able to add into Exactly. Using both of them together as well as your jukebox. Yeah, so you can plug your jukebox in right here and have six cartridges that you're being able to mix and match with your different um, Imagine cartridges. Now, the Imagine cartridges, we're going to be launching 12 of them. Exciting. And then we're going to have another, I think, eight. And on those eight, they're going to just be called patterns and colors. And those are going to just be filled with hundreds of different patterns and different colors and not necessarily icons like this, okay? But the reason we're doing that is for your original cartridges. So if you don't want this, if you just want a hundred different patterns, you know, that you can use with your original cartridges, we'll be coming out with those as well. Another thing I like is I was talking about that you can change the colors. Each Imagine cartridge is going to come with 16 uh, colors that correspond with the pattern papers. In fact, let me pull that up. Okay, let's pull it up. Can you I'm see not the sure screen? You can see anything. Can you guys see the screen? Do we have the things to prop it up? 
Um, let's see. Oh, they won't be able to see it? Oh, it's too far out. Okay, go ahead and we'll explain. I'll just explain to you. <laughs> but anyways, you can go in and you can actually go into the color wheel and choose your own custom colors. So you'll have the 16 to match, but if you know that there's certain colors you use all the time that you just love, you can go in there and pick your own custom colors. So I love that option. And you know, Ginger's just using the child here right now, and she can go in and she can change the color. She can uh, do a border around it. You can add in, you know, a font. You can add in patterns to your fonts. And we're actually going to be coming out with a printable vinyl. So that's really exciting. We're able to print on patterns, patterns on our vinyl. Yes, I can't wait for that. Can you imagine now home decor that's printed like gorgeous prints instead of just black or white or red or cream? I am stoked about that. <laughs> so, so this is just another little example of you know the different things. We've done a scrapbook page as well as a card. And you can just see the different sizing on there that you've done. And it's just, you know, we just had so much fun in there. So if you haven't had a chance to go around to the little booths and actually touch it and make something yourself, I, um, get a chance to go do that. Now, here's another cool thing. I told you it was 80 cents to do a full 12 by 12 print, okay? But what if you're doing a lot of this, right? You're not, you're not printing on the entire page. We wanted to find out how long the cartridges would last that way. If you're doing this with some white spacing in between, you're going to get at least 150 sheets of mostly full but some white. If you were going to just do this, just print pattern paper after pattern paper, a full piece, you would get 50 sheets before your ink would even start to go out. And there's another cool thing on the, I think I've said that all day. And then another cool thing, and the next cool thing, there's just too many cool things about it. <laughs> but um, you can go in and check how much ink you have. So um, before you even start a project, you can go in and make sure you're not going to run out of ink. How many of you have done that with your regular ink? I hate that. It's so maddening. So this, this will tell you. And here's another thing I like. How many of you own one of the Cricut machines already? Just show of hands. Okay, so you cute girl in the black shirt, you don't own a cricket machine? I own two. Oh, she owns two. You didn't raise your hand, sorry. Sorry. No, that's okay. It's so, oh, you get a D. Take her No, but um, here's the cool thing. You can print and cut, or you can just print, or you can just cut. So if this is your first cricket machine, you don't own any of the others, you can go into just the cut menu and it will function just like your expression does. Yeah, cool, huh? Or if you want to print and just do, oh, just one sec, no, you're good, I want questions. Or if you want to just print, you can go in and select print, turn that on, and it will just print. So you've got all three functions in this machine, which I like. It gives you the next level of enabling you to do more creative things or more projects, you know. How many times are you working on a scrapbook page, but you gotta go over here to your printer, you gotta go over and do this. And I will say, um, it's just like expression, no computer necessary, you know, you don't need to know how to use it. Um, but it will only print, you can't, you can't hook this to your computer and, and just print Word documents, it's not, a printer printer. Does that make sense? But what I love is you can print anything you print through your laser printer and you can put through this. So that's exciting. And I love the fact that this is all you need. Yep. So if you're like me and a lot of times the only time I get a chance to scrapbook is late at night and I have this little swatch of a powder paper cardstock and I'm going, oh I need more of that to match pictures. You don't need to worry about it because it's all right here. Yes. Yep. And uh, and what and I love too when Christy said everything you run through your regular inkjet printer. So transparencies, vellum, cardstock, basil. Um, the one thing we're not recommending though uh, is chipboard. And the reason why is because this, uh, the first thing it does is it pulls in the mat and it prints, but there's actually a curved path back here. See how the machine is sleekly curved? So it actually bends a little bit in there. And chipboard really doesn't bend very well. So it probably wouldn't print very well. And then once it prints, it pulls it back out, it finds those registrations on the mat, and then it cuts the image. But everything else we have tested has worked just great. 